Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, we're all fresh and Continuing our conversation with Sister Benish, missionary to the Dominican Republic and into areas of Haiti. Uh, Venetia, uh, tell me, how can how can we here in the states? We we want to we want to help you. We want to send some support to you to help you uh, in the work that God has called you to do. I know the government has is sending uh, uh, resources and things over there. Uh, but uh, Haiti has been hit particularly, and the Dominican Republic have been hit uh, particularly, one with, uh, with the earthquake, two with hurricanes. And it seems, like, uh, seems like every other hurricane that's, that's forming is coming through some part of that region uh, out there. How can we best support you financially? Charles, we want a building. Okay. Okay. We want to build. Um, and that is in the honesty of uh, the community. Um, God called me specifically to an area called Munoz, and it is um, without power, without running water. They're strategically right next to a river, so that is where they bathe. That is where they, you know, wash clothes. That is wash dishes. That is... And that water is not sanitary, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, we'd like to see a building that we can at least put up to where when the weather is bad, we we teach trade up on the field. Mm -hmm. We have a field out there, a football field, um, or well, soccer, excuse me. In America, we call it um, soccer, but okay. for them, it is football. Okay. Um, but we sit on this field under this tree, and we need a building. Um, we want to be able to teach trade work, how to sew, how to build wood, how to um, do electricity. We want to bring in people that are known leaders in the community that can teach trade work mm -hmm. on a level to these children that are not allowed to go to school, um, not allowed to go into primary. We want to bring in the, the team that I have that, that knows how to speak English fluently as well as Creole mm -hmm. and French and Spanish. Wow. and be able to teach English and offer translating job, jobs. Mm -hmm. So it's a building, sure. and, it's, and it's fun and our resource that when people come to us and they are dying, that is my biggest thing. If you're not entitled to medical care and you're not considered um, as a human, um, where do they go when they need help, when they need assistance? Yeah. So yeah. they come to me, Charles, and, and I... Um, and one person. I'm everything with the Lord. We know that, but I'm one person, and our and our finances run low. And I should not ever have to make a decision: Do I feed this person, or do I send this person to the hospital? Mm -hmm. Do we stand in the gap this way? Because somebody is always going to get the ball dropped. Sure. And we don't want to drop in the ball. We want to be able to assist. In, in every way that we can. Mm -hmm. And for 10 years, we've been doing this with the support of a few. Mm -hmm. And okay. we believe that there's more. Yeah. We know that there's more. Mm -hmm. Know that God has not left us out on this mission field to just yeah. to just dry up. The need is too great. Sure. Um, I was naive, I'm gonna share this. I was naive, um, just not knowing yet. I had a big number in my heart. God, I'm, we're gonna go for 150 families. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't realize that when we started to go to survey and do statistics in the area of Munoz, that I sit down at my table and the people start bringing their family members to me and we're writing down the names. And once we got to 50 families, Charles, wow. I already had 110 people on the list. Wow. And my did not equate that 
each family may have five to eight people in their one home. Yeah. yeah. I had to cut off the list of 50 families mm. because I was already capacity. Sure. And that's not, he showed 150 families, which now I understand is probably 400 to 500 people. Mm -hmm. So we need the resources. We want to be a greater impact for the kingdom. Amen. We want them to know that they're loved and they are cared. And even if they don't have papers that say that they are human, they matter to the kingdom. Yes. We're brothers and sisters that matter to the kingdom of God. Yes. They, they're not orphans without paperwork. Daddy said that they are approved. Mm -hmm. And we want to come and teach them whatever it is that we have in front of us. And, you know, and, and, and it's going to open up the door, Charles, for for foreigners, others, American, Westerners, to be able mm -hmm. to come because we're kind of funny about coming and sitting on a field, mm -hmm. you know, in the hot sun. Mm -hmm. I do it, but I feel like if we had a, I know if we had a building, people would be more inclined okay. to come and donate their time okay. and come and actually love children and let the children love on them. Okay. They're incredible. Okay, so to be clear now, you do not have a building as of this point, right? As of this point, no, sir. We've been okay. doing ministry straight on the field of the tree. Wow. Okay, so here's what um, here's what I am going to do. I am going to I'm going to ask um, my friends and my followers. Um, listen, I realize that this is year 25 uh, of the Amber Alert concept. Uh, here in the United States and around the world because this broadcast will be viewed all over from all over the world and um, I'm going to ask you all now before in January I had shared with you all uh, to give $25 towards for $25 for 25 years um, but I am going to ask that we pause that for this cause okay I still want you to give, but I want you to give to a different source. I'm asking all of my friends and followers to, if you can find it in your heart, to help Sister Venice do the work of the Lord over in the, the Dominican Republic and into Haiti by making a tangible donation. A gift of a hundred, two hundred, two hundred and fifty, five hundred dollars. Some of you could even write a check for a thousand dollars and wouldn't even miss it. Okay. Um, here's what I know, and and some of you would push back and say, "Hey, you, hey y'all, we're in a pandemic, and you know, uh, and resources are tight upon everybody." And I get that. Here's what I know. I know that a lot of people may not have a lot. But I do also know that a lot of people can do a little that can make a difference. So I'm going to ask you, again, to, to pause on giving to our 25th uh, anniversary. And I want the funds to go directly to help people who have been impacted by the, uh, by the uh, earthquake and by the uh, subsequent uh, hurricanes that have come through that region and helped Sister Venice. Y'all, she says she needs a building. Okay, can we help make that happen? Sure, let's do that. You may never get a chance to go to the Dominican Republic. You may never get a chance to go into Haiti. But by your giving, by your giving, it can help to train a young boy, train a young girl, uh, and, and, and with all of the training that they are doing over there, um, your gift will go a long way. You saw the pictures. We've seen the pictures. Some of the kids over there that uh, we have seen uh, from the pictures that have been sent back to us, some of the kids over there were running around butt naked. All we saw was a little butt run across the screen. Okay? Uh, your giving, your giving just may help put some clothes on that little bear behind, okay? Your giving will help those kids and give those kids a real hope at a promising future. You know, we talk about 
uh, we talk about uh, 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 the love of God and the love of Jesus and, 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 and all of that. Love is an action verb. Okay, love is things that we do in action. And so I here it's I am asking you, here is your chance. Y'all have been y'all have been y'all have blessed me this year to the point that I, I am so grateful. And now I'm asking you to channel those resources, those resources over to Sister Venish and the ministry. Uh, there in um, the Dominican Republic, as well as into Haiti. Sister Vermeesh, uh, Sister Vernish, I know someone named Vermeesh too, uh, but Sister uh, Vernish, how can the people give directly to you? I don't want y'all to give to me, okay? I don't want nobody running away from this broadcast saying, oh, he's receiving money. No, 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 no. I want y'all to give directly to her. No middle people, no middle man, 100% of what you're giving will be going to help those little children and the ministry of Sister Vernice over in the Dominican Republic and into Haiti. Sister Vernice, please tell the people how they can give. Wow. So, Charles, we have a, a cash app um, that is the name of um, our ministry. So bless girls rock. Okay. Um, they can they can cash out there. We have a PayPal. Um, I do know that there is an older generation that is still using checks. You can mail them directly. <laughs> um, and um, I've had a lot of requests for the, our address when we since we've been home. Mm -hmm. But um, my daughter is did set me up on all of the social cash apps and Venmos and. Okay. Those things. So we have all of the festival um, okay. for people. That's great. Yes, if sir. you would do me uh, do me a favor and um, send me all of that information, and I will include it in with um, with the distribution uh, of this broadcast because I really want the people to help you. I really do. Because when they help you, they are helping. They are helping generations to come that will help others. Yep. And so I, I know um, this is not my first. This is not my first rodeo. I have done this um, uh, many a times. We uh, we established a school over in Kenya, Africa. Uh, we uh, have done work with part. We partnered with people down under in uh, Sydney, Australia, and uh, it it thrills my heart to be able to. Um, come together and do this for the people over in uh, Haiti and in the uh, Dominican uh, Republic. Any last words? No, sir. I just want to say, you guys, thank you. Okay. Because the Lord is faithful. Yes, He's he is. so faithful. Yes, he is. And just trust that your gift is going into a safe place. If you believe in the principle of sowing and reaping, it is good soil. Yes. We have statistics. We have we fed over 10,000 meals in, you know, last year. We have the statistics. We have miracle signs and wonders mm. that have followed us. So just know that it is it is good soil. Amen. Um, Amen. I wanted to I ask Jesus loves the children. Oh. She has just shared uh, the need. Uh, we are believing, uh, we're believing God with her for a building, and I'm asking everyone 
to please make a contribution uh, to uh, whether it's our cash app, which they would get directly, uh, cash app, PayPal, Venmo. She's going to send me all of that information. It'll be posted right here in the description uh, part of this uh, broadcast uh, as well. And uh, again, I'm asking everyone to pause on giving to our 25th anniversary. I want to be a blessing to some people who, who can really use it at this time, okay? You've seen their ministry. You've heard the work of their ministry. You've saw the images uh, of the kids. I mean, everything from putting clothes on the back of the kids to training them how to survive, how to survive, and not just survive, but thrive uh, there, in, there where they live at. Uh, as well. So uh, we are excited to be a part of this venture. And uh, uh, I, I know I'm going to cry when we see pictures of the building, but uh, you know, we, I, I know it's going to happen. I, I, I know it's going to happen. We're just trying to help it to happen uh, sooner uh, rather than later. Why? Because winter months are coming up. Winter months are coming up. Yes, sir. And um, I would love to have them in their building well before uh, their winter sets in. And so uh, let's work to that end. Like I said, some of you can give a uh, 100, 200, 500, uh, uh, even a thousand dollars and wouldn't even miss it. Some of our, uh, some of our business partners, uh, uh, you want to uh, make a donation, you can do it on behalf of your business, you can do it on behalf of you as an individual. However it is you choose to do it, do it. You know, we came together last year we came together last year from all over the country to bless kids from all over this country at Christmas time for toys. Well, this need is much greater than a kid needing a toy. There are some kids in Haiti and in the Dominican Republic that need clothes, they need shoes, they need uh, food, they need shelter. Uh, and depending upon where they were when the uh, earthquake uh, hit, uh, I've seen homes that have crumbled uh, and just a number of things. Use your imagination as if you were in a uh, that particular uh, that in that particular type of, of situation. And don't say don't say that that's just for those people over there. OK, uh, because uh, people in Louisiana, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York never thought that they would be going through what they're going through right now in recovery method but um, listen uh, calamity can happen anywhere and so we just want to uh, come alongside and uh, help sister Bernice, uh get a building okay if I had it in my back pocket I'd, I'd see to it happening uh, but I'm asking everyone and I, I, I love this method because it's God giving an opportunity for everyone to sow a seed watch this and when you sow a seed when you sow a seed, oh my word, you're setting yourself up for God to do something that only God can do in your life. Okay? I love what the scripture says. Scripture says that he who giveth to the poor lends to the Lord. And um, can the Lord use some of what he has blessed you with? So make a donation today. The information will be in the uh, in the section there, and uh, I, I want to see this happen. Okay, uh, I promised her. I actually I twisted Vernicia's uh, arms. Uh, I told her that um, as one of the conditions for doing this broadcast, that she would have to sing. Okay, and uh, I asked her if she would do if she would sing the song, "Jesus Loves the Little Children." all the little children of the world red yellow black and white they are all precious in his sight sister Venice, i'm going to give you the last words take it away so just thank you charles and he does love all the children of the world and for those that don't know god called me to be a worship leader and that is what we do we praise the Lord even when we don't have. So yes, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, 
there are precious in the sight. Jesus found the little children of the world. Let Jesus found the little children. All the children are his world. Red and yellow, black and white. We're all precious in daddy's sight. Jesus loves us, all the children of this world. That's worth it right there. Yes. That's 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 worth it right there. That's 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 worthy of your donation right there. It really is. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Bernice. And that's gonna conclude uh this interview. We're out in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much, daughter. Thank you so so much. Um I believe you have my contact information. Okay, and um, after you, um, after we finish, uh, we got to do some splicing and putting some things together here in the uh, editing process. Uh, I will, um, I will share this with you, and then uh, we will release it. I want to try to get it released here today. Sunday's a good day of release, and so we're gonna uh, do that uh, here on today. And uh, you know, children are near to God's heart. I want you to know that. I want you to know that because when you're feeding, when you're over there feeding a child, you're over there training a child, you're training a child for the next generation. These children that you are in contact with, they are our future. They are our future. They're going to be running our countries. And oh my gosh. Mm, thank you for allowing your hands thank you. and your heart to be used by God in this capacity. We'll be in touch, okay? Yes, sir. Tell your daughter again, Thank big you. thanks, a big thanks for using her um, her uh, Apple device. I don't know if it's phone or camera, tablet or what, but uh, tell her I said thank you and let's just trust God and watch this happen, okay? It is finished for you. All right, God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.